Hey guys, what's going on? Dustin here, behind me. As you can see here, we are doing a little bit with the Duramax today. It is uh, kind of rainy. We had a nice storm last night. You can hear the water draining over here. And I'm gonna have to figure out something with my parking situation over here because uh, pulling it out muddy, we've got a sump pump from under the house. I've absolutely destroyed the side of my flower bed here, so I'm gonna have to reorganize that. But I need to figure out something, lay some gravel or whatnot, because you can see I've got a soupy mess where I've backed out the Duramax here. It's just so heavy and this is so muddy over here that uh, I'm gonna have to figure out something. I don't know if I need to lay gravel or what. Guys, let me know what you think I should do down in the comments. That would be fairly cheap. <clears throat> but anyways, we have not officially given the Duramax a nice clean since we got it. In fact, I haven't cleaned it at all since I got it. As you can see, it's pretty muddy. We've uh, we've been enjoying it, having a lot of fun on these county roads here. So I thought I would take the opportunity today. Ooh, this sounds real bad. I'd take the opportunity today, while we've got a little brief break in the rain here, to clean it up and just see how well she cleans up, guys. Uh, one thing that I definitely have noticed, and I don't know if you're going to be able to tell this on camera or not, guys, but looking at it, it does not have any sort of paint protecting on it. I mean, you can see the water. Okay, maybe you can see the sheen here. The water is not beating at all. So I'm really excited to get this thing cleaned up exterior wise and see how well it looks. So I'm going to get this thing power washed as you can see. We've got the power washer here. And uh, we'll get the exterior today. And another day we'll get the interior a little bit better. I've been doing some cleaning on the seats. Um, but you can still see there's a lot here that there's a lot here that needs cleaned up and whatnot. I mean, it is a 15 year old truck, you know. But I think we can get a lot of the dust and stuff out of this and make it look pretty darn sharp. And I've got a video upcoming on that too, guys. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I'm going to set you guys in a mount here so you can see kind of the process here. All I'm going to be doing is hitting it with a pressure wash and. I don't really have the time today. We uh, have actually got another video to shoot here. We're going to see my tax guy here in just a few. So uh, I'm gonna just going to clean this thing up with the pressure washer. And then I'm going to hit it with some of this Rain-X waterless car wash and rain repellent. I've been using this stuff. I really like it a lot. It says no wax needed. I like to think you have a wax on there though. But this stuff will get us by. As you can see, I use it quite a bit. Need some more. Um, I'm really wanting to try out some of the Meguiar's uh, ceramic coating and wax combo so we might get our hands on that and do a review sometime all right enough chit chat let's get this thing cleaned up pressure wash and just a quick detail using the uh, Rain-X wash and wax or waterless wash I should say this is what came off of it really not too bad um, the guy I bought it from he did clean it before I had, had bought it a couple weeks ago and of course I've used it pretty extensively before you about ready to go inside but he's pretty wet you probably need a wash don't you anyways as you can tell there's a lot a lot of mud on it as you can see from the driveway here I would like to do the high country next it hasn't had a wash in probably a month it really really could use one um, as you can see we got water beating up on the hood now looks real nice I wish it was sunny so we could see you know how how clean the paint came out but one thing I gotta say guys if you are considering a work truck or do lots of traveling on dirt roads this is the color vehicle to have I was amazed going over it how much stuff it hides until you get up real close. I mean this truck, 15 years old in this color, is slick. I mean it looks good. And the wheels look really really nice too. They're only I think a little over a year old but you can tell these Moto Metal wheels, they're really nice and I like that they're easy to clean. You can get right in here and clean it up really really easy. So I'm pretty happy with these wheels. But man. She cleans up pretty good, I gotta say. Only things that I'm noticing, you know, since getting it cleaned up, 
We've got a little bit of a dent in the bumper here. Not a huge deal. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, we got a little bit of denting here. Once again, not a huge deal. I'm not super concerned about it. Man, looks looks really good after a wash. I'm very very happy. I, I need to hit the tires a little more. You can see they could use some tire shine or something. But you know, this is kind of the work truck, project truck, if you will. So. I'm not hugely concerned with it. I do, uh, I am glad that I cleaned it though because the water wasn't beating up on the windows when I was driving and that was really annoying driving down the road. You just kind of got a film of water on there so it's looking a lot better. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. How do you think she cleaned up? One thing I'm noticing is, and this is exactly what I was talking about, just kind of having a sheet of water. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, okay, you can see it on camera here, how it's just uh, kind of like a film of water here. It makes it really hard to see out of, whereas if you hit this at the side light, you can still see through it. It's nice and transparent. So I'm going to touch that up real quick, but I'll do that off video. All right, guys. So we got the Duramax exterior cleaned up. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to do one of uh, the interior, getting it nice and cleaned up. And definitely stay tuned. I'm going to do kind of an in-depth video of everything that's kind of done to this truck, um, how much we paid for it, show you how much truck you can get for the price that I paid for this. I think... I think, anyway, you guys will be pretty impressed at the price I gave for this. I know I was really, really excited. So uh, there's going to be a good video on that coming soon to show you guys how much truck you can get for X amount of dollars. And, of course, that's why I wanted to get it nice and cleaned up for that video. And, of course, because going to see my tax guy today, I want to get my nice truck cleaned up, too. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And definitely leave a like on this video. Share with your friends if they enjoy these Duramax diesel trucks. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already. We need all the subscribers that we can get. Alright guys, until next time, take care.